Darren Marlar Radio Show Audio Rewind. Elementary school students in Marion County, Florida will have more free time after school this year as the school district implements a controversial homework ban. Uh, apparently, the goal is to eventually make Florida's main export fast food workers. Have you ever wanted to speak another language? Well, now you can with the new language course everyone is talking about. Okay. Yes, you too can learn how to speak drive through window with the Burmitz drive through window language course. In only a matter of weeks, you'll be speaking and understanding conversational drive through like a pimple faced, ill mannered adolescent. Okay. So, wherever you go in the world, you can converse in the international language of drive through window. Just listen. Can I take your order? Repeat. Can I take your order? The drive through window language course. Available now for only... Or you can supersize today for only... This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> so, can you be arrested for driving under the influence, even if your car's engine wasn't on? Well, two women who took turns steering a broken-down vehicle they faced drunk driving charges after their slow-moving car crashed into a parked car. Kayleen Kesey of Gary, Indiana was pushing this disabled car while Melissa Friedenberg steered from the passenger seat. The two were moving the car into a parking lot at a nearby motel and they were spotted by police. While both women had blood alcohol levels of 0.17 percent – wow, that is more than twice the state's legal limit to drive. Authorities said the women were operating the vehicle while intoxicated, even though the car's engine wasn't working. The prosecutor acknowledged the charges could be difficult to prosecute in court. According to Deputy Prosecutor Adam Burroughs, who authorized the charges, the statute and case law supports a DUI charge, but it will be interesting to see. Burroughs said that the office had prosecuted drunk drivers who were stopped in restaurant drive through lanes or who were on private property. Bicycles and motorized wheelchairs are about the only vehicles in which a person would be unlikely to face a drunk driving charge, he said. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Any questions? A report says the obesity epidemic is affecting 711 million people worldwide. Ah, 711, there's that number again. Hey, who's in the mood for a cherry Slurpee and a nacho cheese covered hot dog? They're fun loving, they're fearless. The movie that defies the forces of gravity and good taste. Hot Dog, the movie. Flipping, turning, so kiss your buns goodbye. It's Hot Dog, the movie. If you'd like to keep up with everything I do, you can sign up for my newsletter. It's absolutely free. You can find the Marler Sheet at DarrenMarler.com. D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. Well, if one of your excuses for not going to the gym is that weightlifting and treadmills are boring, well, it looks like you're going to have to come up with a new way to weasel out of that. Now that they have to compete with dance studios and adult sports leagues, gyms are coming up with creative new ways to get fit. Classes like Karaoke Spin, Pogo Boot Camp, and Stiletto Strength are among the latest gym crazes. Among the benefits of taking different classes is that you work muscles that may not get a regular workout and you help avoid the so-called plateau that people get when they do the same workout over and over. Plus, working out with others builds camaraderie, making it easier to stick with. Now, for me personally, I don't work out because, well, it makes me tired. The Darren Marlar Radio Show! <laughs> If you want to like me, poke me, tweet me, follow me, stalk me, you can find links to all of my uh, my social media at DarrenMarler.com. That's me. I'm Darren Marler. And uh, Arizona, it has a new concept regarding executions, an idea that one lethal injection expert calls unprecedented, wholly novel, and frankly absurd. The Arizona Department of Corrections it has uh, it's had a lot of problems acquiring the standard execution drugs uh, P uh, pentobarbital and theopental so they're suggesting that lawyers 
provide the drugs to be used to kill their own clients. Can you believe that? Well, not only is this obviously unethical, but the plan is legally impossible. The makers of, of uh, pentobarbital, they won't allow the drug to be used in executions, and theopental, it's not sold in the United States, and it can't be imported. Uh, you're, you're all acting like, like lethal injection is the only way to kill somebody, though. I mean, there are other options that are a lot easier in, if you want to execute somebody. I mean, there's the shooting squad, hanging, guillotine, my personal favorite, binge-watching, The View. Attention, everyone. This, this is the Darren Marlar Radio Show. I'm Darren Marlar. If you'd like to listen to past shows, well, you can get them on my free mobile app. Just search for Marlar House uh, in your iOS or Android store. Uh, it's your phone at your, your phone app store. It's free. Just search for Marlar House. M A R L A R, and then the word house. Well, in Indianapolis, when it came time for uh, for Mariel Slager Keller, a teacher at IPS Butler Lab School, to choose a flower girl and a ring bearer for her own wedding, well, the only kids that came to mind were her students. So she invited the entire class to be in her wedding. Twenty students walked down the aisle wearing all white, carrying garland. Keller said the kids and their families were part of the whole wedding planning process with me and gave me so much support along the way. They are a huge part of who I am, and it would not have felt right to not have them there. Uh, she teaches a combination of kindergarten and first grade students, so actually some of these students will have her as a teacher again this year, and boy will they have a lot to talk about. Hey, by the way, we are creating a Darren Marlar Radio Show fan club. Yes, well, actually, it's a fan of the month club. Uh, I'm only allowed 12 fans a year. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. That is the word, word on the street. Sign up to get Darren's newsletter on his website at darrenmarlar.com. Hey there, I'm Darren Marlar. Uh, according to a recent poll, one out of five Americans are in favor of bringing back the gas chamber. Wow. All right, yeah, uh, sure. I mean, Justin Bieber gets on my nerves, too, but that is kind of extreme, don't you think? I'm sorry. That was highly inappropriate. Cosmetic surgeons. They have identified a new phenomenon among our computer-reliant generation. It's described as computer face. No, I'm not kidding. It's a real thing. They've noticed the, that sagging jowls and eye wrinkles are pretty common on women who spend their days hunched over computers. The sagging jowls, well, those are caused by constantly looking down, and that shortens the neck muscles, making the neck baggy. Now, the wrinkles, they're caused by people who squint and frown when concentrating on their computer screens. So, doing it for long enough or, or often enough, it makes those wrinkles and lines permanent. Yep, yep, I, I can hear my wife right now tossing the computer out of the second story window. The Lord of the Elements wants to change reality. He has enlisted the evil Zeltan to help him, and together they will try to recruit Stanley, a man gifted with incredible, imaginative capabilities to help them. Unless Edward and his friends can stop them, that is. A tale of white and black magic, quantum physics, and a plot that twists and turns. If you like science fiction, fantasy, and horror, you'll love the Last Observer, A Magic Battle for Reality by G. Michael Vasey. Hear a free sample or purchase the title by clicking the link in the show's description. This is it. Her, her show's funny. I gotta try that more often. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. So the day begins. You know, we, we can't tell you that a good night's sleep most nights is going to increase your checking account bottom line or make you smarter, um, but it could very well make you healthier. So much healthier, in fact, you will live longer than those who skimp on sleep. Now, get this, though. It's not the sleep itself that keeps your heart healthy so you live longer. It's the lifestyle that you're more likely to lead if you sleep well. That's the word from researchers at the University of Delaware. They've concluded that the duration and timing of your sleep are closely associated with whether your behavior is heart healthy. 
sleep deficits and poor quality of sleep, they've been linked to obesity and a myriad of health problems, but the study shows that when it comes to promoting healthy hearts, it's not a matter of getting more sleep. It's a matter of getting adequate sleep at optimal times. And doing that seems to reduce the kind of behaviors, those bad behaviors like smoking, sedentary lifestyles, poor dietary choices that put your heart in harm's way. The study found that those who sleep um, was either if your sleep was either short or long, and the night owls who went to bed later, they those people were more likely than the adequate sleepers and those who went to bed earlier. Uh, they, those people were allowed, uh, more inclined to smoke, remain sedentary, and eat fewer fruits and vegetables. So I guess the point in all of this is get enough sleep, get an adequate amount of sleep, go to bed at a decent hour. Yeah, good luck with that. The more I resist, the more intriguing they become. You must be the Aaron Marlar. Giving away money, well, that sometimes makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, doesn't it? Uh, other times, though, it could make you feel like a real in duh visual, like in today's moment of duh. I'm Darren Marlar. Uh, you can hear the show anytime if you want to. Just go to darrenmarlar.com. That's D A R R E N M A R L A R.com. Well, in Seattle, a brewery is offering their employees puppy parental leave. It's a week off with pay when you adopt a rescue dog or adopt or rescue a dog. So, so, all right, so what? So you need a week off of work? No problem. Visit the dog pound. Okay, well, what if that dog gets hit by a car next week? Do you get another week off then for the funeral? And then what about you, when you get a new dog to replace that first dog? Then do you get yes, yet an, ad an additional week? I mean, you could really take advantage of this. I want to hear it. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. It would make me happy. What foods are millennials into? Well, in a recent survey by Nation's Restaurant News that included over 170 brands, Red Lobster was ranked the top choice among 18 to 24 year olds. Red Lobster. So that surprised everybody, including Red Lobster. The, uh, the chain's CEO said that chasing the young crowd was never part of their strategy. Now, in case you missed that, the secret to reaching millennials is to ignore them completely. Say what? Hey, I'm Darren Marlar. It's time for uh, today's moment of duh and giving away money. You know, sometimes it'll make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Well, maybe not in this story. A man stunned shoppers on a British street by handing out his savings to make people happy. Uh, this guy, Chris Algerdat, he withdrew just under $18,000 from his bank before dishing out the cash to amazed passers-by in Worcester, England. He got about $3,500 into his free-for-all when he was when he finally wised up and walked away with the rest of his money. Duh. I'm Darren Marlar. If you'd like to be a part of the show, why don't you drop me an email? I'd love to uh, to read what you have to say about the show, and uh, I can add it to the email bag and share it with the rest of the world as well. So uh, drop me an email. Just go to DarrenMarlar.com. D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. Well, in Kentucky, uh, Dr. Amanda Hess, she's an obstetrician, and she was actually about to have her own second child when she heard an emergency unfolding in the birthing room next to hers. Well, knowing it would take longer for the on-call physician to reach the baby in distress than for her to jump in herself, she did just that. She left her own bed and went next door to deliver Lee Halliday Johnson's fourth child. And then, just moments later, her own contractions kicked in, and she soon had her second daughter, Ellen Joyce. Uh, the uh, lady she helped, Johnson, uh, she later said, I appreciate what she did for my family, and it speaks a lot to who she is as a woman and as a mother, as well as a doctor. Now, as for Dr. Hess, uh, she admits that delivering somebody else's baby, something she does all the time, was much easier than taking part in her own baby delivery. Identify yourself. You're listening to... Here's the deal. It's about time. Is everyone ready? The Master of Ceremonies, Darren Marlar Radio Show. Crank up the radio. Los Angeles, if you haven't heard, they're going to host the 2028 Summer Olympics. So, yeah, Olathe, Kansas has been snubbed again. Hey, you know what? They better start now if they ever hope to get that Olympic torch through L.A. traffic. This is a 
your brain on drugs. <laughs> Time for today's Brain on Drugs. And you know, every day when I talk about this, it's about people doing dumb things under the influence. But addiction, that is no laughing matter. If you or somebody you know needs help, there is a toll-free number that you can call. It's 1-800-438-0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline, 1-800-438-0380. So today in history is one guy's brain on drugs. On this date in 2001, 16 years ago, a Muskegon, Michigan man was charged with unlawful use of a harmful device after he blew up his home while sniffing propane gas and smoking. Nobody was seriously injured in the blast, but it did blow the home off its foundation and damaged two neighboring houses. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Any questions? I'm Darren Marlar, and if you'd like to keep up with everything that I do, well, you can sign up for my newsletter. It's The Marlar Sheet. You can sign up for it at DarrenMarlar.com. Now available, socks that don't ever need to be washed. Sounds like the beginning of a joke or a parody spot, but no, this is a real thing. Steve and Jenny Whitley, they own an Angora goat farm, and they run mohair knitwear company Corey Moore in the UK. And they created a line of mohair socks after the customers reported that their Corey Moore jumpers didn't pick up the same amount of odors that their other clothes did, and hence didn't require as many washes. Well, according to Steve, mohair fibers they don't trap the usual bacteria that causes problems with foot hygiene, which he says means that they can be worn day after day, week after week, in extreme conditions and without any stench or discomfort. And we're concentrating on just the socks? For crying out loud, I need a whole mohair wardrobe. Ladies and gentlemen, this little baby is the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Need a daily dose of weird news? <laughs> Follow Darren on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Darren Marlar. I've lost my appetite. I'm Darren Marlar. If you uh, miss any part of the show, well, you can catch up with me at darrenmarlar.com. That's D A R R E N. M-A-R-L-A-R dot com. Well, just when you think people have just gone as far as possible in selling out Christianity, here comes Worship for Prizes! Yes! Las, Las Ultimas Noticias uh, reports that there is a Catholic church and a shopping mall in Santiago, Chile. Uh, the Dockers Clothing Chain, they sponsored the installation of a sound system that detects the person in the church who is praying the loudest, and that person wins a Dockers discount coupon. <laughs> Worshippers can also win free chocolate bars and McDonald's coupons for going to confession. Wow! Uh, the church slogan is Jesus Saves. And so will you at Garden View Mall! Let's get started. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. Who are you? You're you! And if you're you, that makes me... Darren Marlar. Who's guarding the president? Thanks for joining me for the Darren Marlar Radio Show today. Uh, if you want to uh, like me, poke me, tweet me, follow me, stalk me, you can find links to all of my social media at DarrenMarlar.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. Going to leave you today with this thought. Be nice to the nerds and the geeks in high school. You will be working for them in the future. Good night, ladies. Good night, sir. Hit it, sweetheart.